Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to discuss about some basic syntaxes and commands of Terraform HashiCorp configuration language. Now, this is the language we use to define resources and variables in our Terraform. So, before you do that, it is necessary that you have Terraform installed on your machine. So, if you have not installed that yet, I have a separate video on how to install Terraform on Windows. So, please make sure you check out that video and install Terraform on your machine. So, if you have already installed, let's get started and have a look at some basic syntaxes of Terraform. So I have opened my command prompt. Okay, I'll first thing I'll do is I'll create a directory called Terraform first. Okay, this is my project directory, and then I'll just cd into that uh, directory. Okay, so basically, uh, if there are any .dot tf files in this directory already, the Terraform uh, will automatically interpret those files, whichever is ending with the .dot tf, and you know it will figure out all the dependencies by itself. So since this is a new directory, I don't have any uh, files yet. So I'll start creating some Terraform files and you know, uh, let's see how it works. Okay. So basically you can use this Vim editor to uh, create the .tf files. And uh, since I'm not much comfortable with Vim, I'll uh, use this Atom editor. Okay. And you can use uh, editor of your choice. Okay. So I'm going to open this folder that uh, we have created. Um, Okay, so I'm gonna open this Terraform first directory. Okay, since this directory is empty, uh, we need to create a new file here. I'll create a new file and I'll call it uh, main.tf. Okay, so basically uh, we need to define some variables before we start uh, creating resources in Terraform. In this video, we will not create any resources uh, as it but we'll see some basic syntaxes and how to define variables etc in Terraform. So in the next video, we will start uh, actually creating the resources in AWS cloud. Okay, so this introduction, uh, this video is just to make you comfortable with how to use the Terraform language. Okay, so first let me save this file as uh, .tf file uh, so that it highlights the syntax. Okay, so I'll call it uh, main.tf, you can call it whatever you want. Okay, so now, uh, my file is saved as a .tf file and if you see that uh, atom is uh, you know highlighting my uh, terraform syntaxes here okay so i'll call it my variable and uh, the type of that variable we need to define the type of the variable i'm going to define it as a string and other thing is we need to give the default value of that variable i'm going to say it welcome to terraform Okay, so this is a very uh, simple variable of type string and the default value as welcome to dot uh, welcome to Terraform. Okay, so I'll save this main.tf and let's go back to the command prompt. So here I will uh, type in the command Terraform console. Okay, so which lets us uh, work with Terraform interactively. And yep, so once you type the Terraform console, you should be able to see this uh, Terraform command prompt here. So since I've already created the main of main.tf, uh, so this is the variable name that I have created. Okay, so let me try to reference that variable here. Okay, I'll call var dot uh, my variable. Okay, and if you see that the value of that uh, because we had given the default value, the value of that variable is appearing here. So welcome to Terraform. So now this is one of the basic variables that we have created. So let's create some more variables in Terraform. Okay, so I'm just gonna copy this and. So here I'm going to create a map variable. Okay, map variable, and the type of that variable is going to be like uh, it's a map variable of strings. So it's basically a map of strings. Okay, and yeah, so this is the type of the map variable that you have created. So for the map variable, we will keep a default uh, like uh, you know we need to put that in curly brackets. So we can give the default as uh, new key is equal to new value whatever so this is basically a default uh, you know value of this map variable okay so we have created a map variable let me save this and i'll go back to my command prompt here okay so we already have this uh, var my variable so i'm gonna take var map variable that we just created i'm gonna reference that Okay, I think we need to um, exit and reload this. Yep. Okay, I'm gonna reload the Terraform console. So now, if I call var dot my variable, I 
I'm gonna call var dot my variable. Okay, so that is uh, welcome to Terraform, and I'm gonna call the map variable that we just created. Okay, var dot map variable. So if you see now, this is the map variable that we just created. So the default is the new key is equal to new values. So map variable is basically a list of you know uh, it's like a dictionary in Python. So basically, it's a variable of keys and values. So uh, from this map variable, basically you can get the value of a particular key also. So if you want to get a value of this new key, so basically suppose you have many key and values here, you want to get the value of one key, you can uh, use this uh, command like var dot map variable of this new key. Okay, so you can type in the key that for which the you want to get the value. Okay, so if you see now it gave me the value of that new key which is new value okay so this is about the uh, map variable so now uh, let's uh, declare one more variable uh, type which is the list variable type okay this is one of the most important uh, variables variable types in Terraform. okay so i'm gonna call it uh, my list okay and this is of type uh, list okay and for the default basically we need to give this as a in square brackets because it's a list so you can give something like a b c and d f comma and x y z okay so basically this is a list of uh, strings in my terraform so let me save this and let's go back to terraform console again i'm gonna exit and load the terraform console again so that it loads a newly saved file okay sorry so this is telling me that there is a syntax error in my variable declaration basically i need to give this in double quotes so single quotes won't work in terraform when you're declaring a string variable so see if you see that terraform automatically when you uh, open the terraform console it uh, like automatically you know detected any syntax changes uh, syntax uh, errors that there were okay so now uh, i have corrected uh, the syntax let me open the terraform console again okay so if you see now it's loading correctly so now let me open my list here r dot my list so if you see now it's uh, like you know giving me the list of uh, the variables that i just declared in my var uh, you know my list so if you want to get a particular uh, you know value in the list like you know using the index of that element uh, you can sorry okay so suppose you want to get a value of uh, element in my list using the index of it I, you, I can just give like you know the zero to get the first element in the list which is abc similarly i can you know get any variable that is in my list of let's say two so it's giving me xyz so this is how you declare the list variable and use the list variable in terraform okay also there is a you know something called function here suppose you want to get the element there is an element function so i'm not going to go into deep into functions at this point of time so but basically you want to get the element of the list by position you can use this element function also so the way to do that is var dot uh, my list comma zero so this basically means that we are passing this uh, two variables to the element the first one is the uh, list and the second one is the index i mean position where i want to get the variable from the list okay so this is the element function i'm gonna click enter so if you see now this element function returned me uh, the element at zeroth index of uh, the my list variable so this is how we use the element function okay so this is about the variables and let me give an example of how to define a resource in terraform also okay i'm gonna create a new file uh, called resource my resources.tf so firstly i'll save this file as uh, my resources.tf so that it will uh, give me the syntax okay my resources.tf okay so I'll, I'll show you an example of how to create an aws resource but we are not going to create it as of it i just want you to have a look at how it how the look how it looks like okay so basically in the next video we will see how to initialize the aws provider and all that stuff so basically i just want you to have a look at how that looks like 
okay so this is an example of how to create an aws instance basically so you given uh, like if you are using some particular cloud provider you uh, give this aws here and you know all this credentials that are required and also define the resources basically this uh, is a type of resource and this is the name of the resource so the type of resource here is aws instance and then you go into the properties of that instance like ami and instance type of that you want to create okay so this is an example of so basically if i run this file now uh, terraform it will throw me an error because uh this plugins related to aws are not installed yet so yeah but we'll look into how to create this uh, uh aws instance in the next video so this video was basically to uh, make you familiar with uh, what are the variables that we will be using so if you see here it's like you know the variables that we have already so the variables we will be using like you know the regions and amis etc so all those will be uh, putting into the variables so i wanted you to uh, like you know get the hang of how the variables looks like looks like and how the dot terraform files look like so that you know you will be ready to uh, you know in the next videos when we create uh, aws resources and you know start uh, spinning up some instances so that's it for this video so in the next video we will see uh, how to spin up an aws ec2 instance using terraform so uh, make sure uh, you subscribe to my channel and you know stay tuned for that next video i'll see you in the next video thank you